Evening all, hope you're doing well, hope you're staying safe. It's Wednesday the 28th of April 2021. It's around nine o'clock in the evening here. We're under the floodlights in the garden, um, but I didn't want to let this day pass. It was a pretty momentous day here for uh, Jerry Demings in Orange County. Uh, probably one of the best days we've had in terms of news for this whole pandemic. Um, he put together a three-step plan for getting rid of all of the COVID restrictions in Orange County. So let's crack on with that right now. So Jerry Demings went along with the CDC's plan from yesterday. So masks not required in small groups outdoors, all that kind of stuff. I'll link you to that in the description below. And I'll also link you to the video, the press conference that Jerry Demings did earlier today. So three step plan, phase one, no masks for small groups outdoors, social distancing reduced from six feet to three feet, no testing for international travel unless, unless required by the destination. So that's, say, I, if I went to Britain, I'd still have to do a PCR test um, to get in, another PCR test after two days, another one after eight days, and then I don't need to do one now when I get back. So that's good. Phase two then. Phase two happens when 50% of people 16 and over in Orange County have had their first dose of vaccination. They don't need to be fully vaccinated, just their first dose. And I'm going to get some, into some stats, of course I am. I'm going to get into some stats in a minute, uh, but let's just go through these phases. So um, no masks required outdoors at all at that point. And then phase three, phase three comes into effect when 70% of Orange County over 16 years of age have had their first dose. And at that point, uh, and or Orange County's positivity rate of, of cases um, to test is 5% or lower and currently we're at 8% so not even close to that um, and at that point all mandates will be lifted so we'll be back to normal. So Mayor Demings said in addition to these phases he put, it, he put some context to it yesterday the 14 day rolling positivity test was 8% so this isn't going to happen tomorrow. 43.4% of the population of Orange County aged 16 or older have had their first shot. And he was asked a question after he'd finished his spiel, he was asked a question by a reporter, have you spoken to the theme parks? And he said, yes, and we can expect adjustments in capacity. So he didn't mention masks. I, I actually think we're going to keep the masks for a while so that they can in increase the capacity. So the, um, the problems we've been having at Universal with their capacity uh, reached on quite a number of days, that might go away. And then the uh, park availability calendar at Disney, that might turn green again. I'm, I'm hoping it does because that'll be fantastic. No timeline was given, by the way, for, for anything for the parks, but I'm guessing we're going to hear fairly soon from all three parks, or at least the, the two major ones, the, the Disney and, and Universal. So some stats then, approximately 1.5 million people live in Orange County and approximately 400,000 of them are age 17, oh sorry, under 17. Now I've cobbled these together from a couple of different places so they might not hang together completely but this is the best I can do and I just want to give you some context about where, where we're going and how long it might take. So 1.1 people, those over 16, are eligible for the, tech, for the vaccine at the moment. Uh, Mayor Demings has said that 43.4% of those people have had at least one dose. So 480,000 people have had at least one dose. That leaves 620,000 people that still need it to get 100% vaccination. So we're not going to get there any, any time, but 290,000 people still need it for 70%. That's phase three. And 70,000 people need it for phase two. And that's 50%. So... Orange County administered 33,221 first doses in the past seven days, or 0.36% of the population each day. At this rate, it's going to take 18 days to reach 50%. Mayor Deming said three weeks. He reckoned it would take three weeks today. So he's on track if there's no drop-off, and there has been a bit of a drop-off recently. So, you know, 18 days, 21 days, he's got three, three days of wriggle room there in his, in his three weeks. But... It's not four weeks, it's not five weeks. Unless something catastrophic happens with take-up, he's kind of in the right ballpark at three weeks. So we could get to phase two in three weeks. Then, when are we going to get to phase three? So at 0.36% every day, it would take another 56 days after reaching phase two. So 74 days in total from today. So that's to reach 70% vaccination. So if there's no drop-off, and I think there will be, but it, let's, let's just say there isn't, because can't, I can't kind of extrapolate what that drop-off might be. So let's say there isn't, then we're looking at the end of July 
for 70 percent vaccinated if we can get there and that's still a big if because if you watched my video from a couple of weeks ago i was saying that 40, it's been reported there's been polls done that 45 percent of republicans across the state do not want to take the vaccine so you know that's a 45 percent of almost half of people who can vote that's quite a number so are we going to get to 70 percent first off or will Demings have to do something else if we don't quite get to 70 percent are we then going to rely on the five percent and i think that that's where the and or comes in if we can get down to five percent positivity rate then we go into phase three as well so regardless of whether it's 70 percent which they think is going to be herd immunity or five percent positivity that's when we'll get into phase three so it doesn't matter whether we whether we reach 70 percent or not I, I hope we do i really hope we do because that that'll be a good sign then that, that there's a really good uptake and, and people are protecting themselves and others so um what does that mean for the parks then so i can foresee capacity going up to we're at 35 percent now is what we've been told i can foresee that going up to at least 40 percent maybe 50 percent in one hike but they need to bring more stuff back if we're going to get 50 percent of people in the parks there's simply i don't think enough for people to do you're going to get some very peed off people working in long lines and they're not going to have very great days especially those people who are getting one day tickets at over a hundred dollars or those even getting three or five or seven day tickets they're still expensive so they'll want to get value for their money so maybe this will now help kickstart more things in the theme parks more shows um, for example uh, rides now maybe we'll have those perspex screens taken away if we're going to get down to three uh, three feet maybe we'll start seeing those perspex screens taken away um I, I don't think we're going to get fast passes back anytime soon i think what they've got working at the moment during the pandemic will work for a while um so yeah i, I don't think we're going to get to 50 percent anytime like really soon not not like in a month maybe in a month and a half and i think this uh, joe biden fourth of july independence day from covid today we celebrate um, could actually be a thing now. So, could could we be back to fifty percent by July the fourth? I think we could. That that's what six weeks, right? Six weeks. Um, the the way things are moving at the moment, uh, you, know, you know, we're, we're going to get another hundred million doses by then. So vaccinate people vaccinate 100 million doses vaccinated so i think we're going to be in pretty good shape what does that mean for international travel that's the big unknown isn't it right now so if we look at the us we're going to be in a good place in six weeks for vaccinations but i know that a lot of people are asking me well what about may what about june I i'm not sure may is feasible i think i think we've missed that window to be honest with you um mco believe that the airlines are going to start back up in June. Maybe they've heard something, maybe they haven't. But I would say June is much more likely than May. I think we're going to be um, looking at a reciprocal agreement with the US very, very soon in order to have an air bridge. Both the US and the UK are doing really, really well. So um, if any country, apart from kind of Israel um, or Chile, uh, is, is going to get first dibs on the US in terms of them being let back in, I think the UK is right up there. So I'm going to be watching that space for news. Maybe it's going to come fairly soon now after this, because I, I'm, I'm hoping the UK government is, is obviously picking up on this, even though it's only kind of parochial in Orange County, but it's still huge news. It's going to send ripples around. Osceola will, will no doubt follow suit. Um, my county, Seminole, didn't. They, they actually put back in the, uh, the mandate for masks yesterday. Whether they'll now look at that again, I don't know. But um, yeah, still looking very, very hopeful for international travel fairly soon just i can't put a date on fairly soon so that's all i wanted to say for tonight um i'll be back on sunday at more news the atlanta video the atlanta airport video that was going to be put in tomorrow is now going to be held over to next week but um I, I hope you got some usefulness out of this give the video a like as usual helps the algorithm helps more people uh, uh, get get to see the videos um, oh one last thing I, I did tweet the sunday times i'm kind of in my tweet at the moment they, t they uh, put a big article out on Sunday about the uh, level four um, travel health notice from the CDC um, last week. Um, as you know, I 
did a thing on, on last week's video where I, I, I said, look, the, the, the level four is wrong. It should be level two in the UK. And I tweeted that back out to the State Department. I haven't had a, uh, a response from them. I tweeted Paul Charles, who we know is the traffic light man. I haven't got a response. And so now I've tweeted the Sunday Times just in case they want to pick up on the story and run with it. Chance in a million, I know, but there we go. I've got to still try and do something. Okay, that is it. I'll see you Sunday. Until then, have a great week, have a great weekend, and I'll see you then. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.